university in boys hostel morning i went there i saw one gate is open two gate is open third gate fourth gate is opened four gates are opened once it open you must close it back when you take a chair we keep it back once you take a pillow keep it back wherever you go you are respected because you you look before you sit you look where the chair was and when you sit after finishing you keep it exact exactly to that point yes you don't keep your point others are watching you yourself were not disciplined four gates are open and one boy walked outside and the security guard is standing there he did not stop neither he asked for the outpass hence that was a fight because they should learn how to close back so i i had a fight with the hostel warden why you went unconscious even in the pt master i'm talking that he must have the sports is a discipline to tell the children how to play when the referee says to stop to stop it so there will be no unnecessary wavering of the mind borrowed mind to attack to fight physical fight to destroy because when you all stay together to eat together to pray together when you grow together on a small game you shouldn't fight and destroy each other by creating an enemy to enter into your body invading army to enter into your body and you suddenly find your friend and enemy and that was a big chapale given for a clap given to all of you to more enemy you create more you are better hence the referee was very important how good the hostel warden keep four gates open one gate was the hostel gate second was, was the high school gate third was the high school uh, high school uh, high school uh, gate and the third one was the um, principal's room gate and the fourth one was the wall gate four gates at the stretch was open open and kept so it was hostel warden's duty to, if you don't train then there is no need of us being over here the mind is full of chanchala by the invading army the whip and rope are necessary hence he might stray off down some dusty road dusty all the dirt he carries all the dirt, dusty road and when he comes in say he comes to the leg full of dust mind full of dirt hence in an indian society say clean your feet and your hands sometimes there is a bathroom outside for them to even to take bath keep the clothes outside their fresh clothes they only enter the house house is not this is your house this house when this house is trained the other houses are very clean being well trained he becomes naturally gentle well trained not force to destroy you to make sure that your cup is empty yes delusions without understanding you have delusions and you you it is not true delusions are not true, true. which you have not tasted so you think that is true even though somebody tells you the truth also you do not want to listen because the body was used to entertain you are a monkey the radio comes you jump the tv comes you jump the tv radio comes is not i'm not telling you, you shouldn't see tv see but while looking you can know whether it will control you or you will control the best part you take from them to try to find out to help others then unfettered he obeys his master once you have trained your body you know to keep a chair back simple things once you go home and you know to touch the feet of your mother or father or your elders in the house or your guru or touch touch the feet why touch the feet because the spinal column needs exercise non stop otherwise you don't even bend now because the invading army has brought in chairs tables dining tables so fast double cot beds so everything is on the top you are not allowed to touch your bum on the floor the roots when you don't touch a bum on the floor it is not rooted down the roots are not running for you to stand tall in the smallest wind you will break into pieces when you sit down with your bum the roots are so powerful nobody can push you down hence the namaskara touching the feet if it is possible shastanga namaskar every time when you see so you get exercise your body is in straight line every time you are telling i am truthful i am in straight line you become strong and others seeing that they also become strong then enfettered he obeys his master once you have that control whole body uh, listens to you then you can go back to your family 
you are in love with your family because the roots are powerful. From the family you can see an another army, not the invading army. The another army is called the joint family, which sits on the floor. Family sits together, each place goes together. Family which takes two baths together in the pond, scrubs together, combs the hair, laughs together. The, those are not the invading army, those are your joint family. And you can see the family tree standing strong and powerful. You are not frightened. You have an army here. But forgetting this army, you go for an invading army who has brought in chanchala, disease, fear. Doesn't know when is the next food coming. In the joint family, there's a massive, huge amount of land, huge amount of people. Each family member, a thousand man army, who is ready to give you everything without a question. But the invading army will demand everything. You go to a hotel, you have to pay. You cannot enter anybody's house. They'll ask you why. You cannot go to any school. They'll ask you for your fees. But in this family army, you don't have to pay. You can walk into any house. They'll say, oh, my beta, my beti came. Maybe you're far away relative, but they, they embrace you. They'll ask, please have your food. Please stay here. They were, before going, they'll give you nice bangles. In, in our Kannada culture, bangles and um, flowers. And if possible, clothes. But this doesn't happen in the invading army, in the friend's house. So controlling the whip and the rope on the ten bulls, they say taming the bull, you have to tame the bull, Mood bull means the mind. You are not the tame, you become a nobody. And you are a slave. How much hour I spend money, or I take money from the public and try to train you, you go out, you again become a slave, you walk like a dada gunda outside because you know a bit of karate. You spit on me, spit on the gurus, spit on the teachers, you joke with the teachers. The moment you see an, another boy joking about the teacher in the class, you know he's not tamed his bull. He is an invading army. He is not our army. He is an invading army. We have put border security forces. We got the army, navy, army, navy and the air force to protect our borders because Pakistan or Bangladesh or other countries, China doesn't invade us. But what about this invasion of your radio? The bullshit which you have taken so much into your mind. Think about it. Taming the bull, the whip and rope are necessary. Else he might stray off down some dusty road. Being well trained, he becomes naturally gentle. Then unfettered, he obeys his master.